Well, the response from my family when I became a Muslim was that, you know, he's just doing, again, something eccentric. Because being a musician, they thought of me as an eccentric. So they thought it would pass in time, and it was a fad. But as the years went by, and, you know, two years became ten years, and ten years became twenty years, then they saw that Islam was here to stay. Inshallah, it's here to stay. So um, we don't have a lot of contact because our lives are very different. But uh, still occasionally I call my sisters, especially I'm closer to my sisters than my brothers. And, um, you know, I do mention things about Islam and the purpose of life. But unfortunately nowadays in the West people are so engrossed in uh, sensual pleasures that they never think at all about anything philosophical. What am I here for? Where did I come from? What's the purpose of my life? It doesn't occur to them. They're just thinking about bank balance and holidays and going out and buying things. So unfortunately, it's a sad situation there. Well, my capacity in dawah activities here in uh, Emirates is that uh, I'm a, a dawah worker for the uh, Jumia Dar al Bir the Dar al Bir Society, which is a federal charity, which also prints books in various languages and holds lectures in various languages. And as the whole world is here in Emirates, it's a very good place for dawah, for uh, preaching about Islam, for inviting people to Islam. And of all the nations here, we've found we've had the most success with two. First of all, the Filipinos. For whatever reason, uh, the Filipinos are 70 or maybe 80 percent of the new converts here in the Gulf. It's the same in Saudi. And secondly, recently, but with surprising success, the Chinese. Chinese are here now in the Emirates in big numbers, doing business. And many of them have, uh, have come to Islam. And inshallah, they, they continue to grow and learn about the deen. So, unfortunately, it's not the same story with the Europeans and Americans, that mostly they come here for money, that they're already very materially inclined. Now, Europeans are becoming Muslims, but in Europe, I'm saying the kind of people who come here to the Gulf, they're Abdul Flus, the Arabs call them, you know, they're servants of money, they're chasing money. Some of them do come to Islam. We've had a few, by the grace of Allah, give up their old life and come to Islam. But as I say, mainly uh, the capacity I'm involved in here is uh, doing dawah to the English-speaking uh, people. And this is mainly the Filipinos here. You know, the Filipinos are Americanized. They're the only Christian nation of Southeast Asia. And they have passable English. So mostly I'm dealing with them. Well, my dawah program in Sharjah jail started only about a year ago. Uh, before that, I was doing something in Dubai jail. It's really, it's a very similar situation. You have a lot of men crowded into a small space because the prisons are overflowing here, unfortunately. One of the main problems of dealing with the, the criminal classes is that they tell you lies. They're, they're all innocent, you know. None of them actually are in prison for anything substantial, according to them. The program in Sharjah Jail uh, has had some success. Some Africans and Hindus and Buddhists have come forward and accepted Islam, and they've found some purpose in life. For the born Muslims there, you know, they need to be reminded about the basics of their religion. And I don't know, is it, it's hard to say, but sometimes I think some of them are better off in prison. I know this sounds cruel to say, but when they're in prison, they're praying to Allah. They're asking Allah for mercy and help and things. And unfortunately, I've seen sometimes when they get out, because of their company, they revert to their old habits. So it is a serious problem, but I must say that the Sharjah jail, they've tried very hard to make 
prisoners reconsider, you know, to make prisoners change their way of life. They have library facilities and they have lectures in three or four languages. And they're seeing that it is a problem now. It is a problem. The